Hello, family. Uh, my batteries went out. So I know y'all probably thinking, you know what? She's been using her Canon all this time. No, believe it or not, baby, I'm still using my flip. So the flip, I just brought it in a little bit closer. Bitch decided that this is what I'm comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? I know I got the, you know what I'm saying, some new some new shit to where I can use some shit that's going to give me a better quality and all that old type of shit. And I'm able to do whatever. But hell, this is my comfort zone. Flip is where it's at with me. You know what I mean? I need some point and shoot shit. So um, this is what's happening. So hold on. Let me get me a little sip of this right here to bring a bitch down. Hold on. Okay. Now, excuse me. Um, for those of you guys that I need, that need to play catch up, this video is for, um, one of my boys, his name is Mr. Renaissance, he's in the comments below, and he had asked me, um, 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 he had posed a question to me about what is the expectation of men, and so on the last video that was cut short because batteries went out, so now we're gonna catch back up. On where we at with things. Everybody is allowed to be in this motherfucking room. So we ain't kicking nobody out. Clyde is grubbing. So we cool. So anyway. But brother, I understand what you're saying. Because the thing is. The TV done fucked it all up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to have to. Uh, let, me, let me go all the way back to. Sometime around the flavor of love time. You know what I'm saying? I want to take it back a little bit far. Like like ground up in that era. Motherfuckers kind of got away from just regular dating and, you know, having a good time on some regular shit. Because back in the day when motherfuckers was watching a different world and shit, it was just, you know, some, you know, some common values and, you know, going out on regular dates and just doing regular shit. Motherfuckers had regular bodies. You know, motherfuckers was low-key in shape and shit and... You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers was down with OPP, but motherfuckers wasn't really telling nobody. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole different era then. And then now we're in this era of basketball wives and what's going on or who doing who. And you know what I'm saying? Who got the most followers on Instagram and who can cut crease better than the other one. And how much ass this bitch got as opposed to what this bitch got going on over here. And bitch, I got ass, but I eat pussy too. I mean, it's all kinds of shit going on. Nowadays, so men don't know really where the fuck, where do we go and how do we fit in with this bullshit because we can't compete with this motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? So we just decided that we were just going to come in on bro code and just decide, you know what, check this out, look. We just finna have fun in this motherfucker. And we ain't got no money to be up here doing tucks and all this booty lips and all this old, we can't put in on some of this motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Nor are we driving these Bentleys and these motherfucking Ferraris and shit that these niggas is driving nowadays. We can't contend with all that motherfucking shit. I got me a regular ass motherfucking job down here at Kellogg. You know what I'm saying? I, I, shit, I got a regular every two week motherfucking this right here. Plus, I got a child support case. You know what I'm saying? I can't do all that motherfucking shit. This bitch won't have that's costing six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars and shit, nigga. By the time I get through trying to be all this right here, the nigga, uh, nigga, I'm on some Bobby Womack shit. You know what I mean? You complain about the things you got and the things that your girlfriend got, but, you know, you want me to go out and get it for you, you know what I'm saying? But I can't be in two places at one time, you know? So, that just made these brothers be like, you know what, look, check this out. <clears throat> I want some pussy, okay, and preferably with a bitch that ain't got no problem with doing it how I want it to be done, you know what I'm saying, and then if, if she just don't want to comply, and she ain't, you know what I'm saying, following through with the terms and conditions that I'm putting forth, then therefore, fuck it, I just go ahead on and get this one, this one, this one, do that one, that one, that one, and just have some fun with this shit, because these bitches, I can't keep up with these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I like all this shit. I do like the way it look on these motherfuckers. But hell, I can't really put in. in. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a regular man. I'm just got, I got regular shit. I'm just a regular man. My motherfucking car right now, I got some tags on it that I done pulled off somebody else's ride. You know what I'm saying? I'm behind on payments and shit. These motherfuckers, I'm hoping I get my income taxes this year. You know what I'm saying? I got to go check the 800 number, see if they, I, you know what I'm saying? They got a uh, levy on my shit, you know? Motherfuckers going through regular shit right now. And bitches is on some housewife shit. Some Kenya shit. 
I'm trying to build me a chateau and I'm trying to do this right here. And I want to go to Dubai and I want to shit, bitch. Uh, I, I want a breast lift, a butt lift and all this kind of old motherfucking shit, nigga. I want veneers and I want this. These niggas can't keep up with all this shit. Really. They can't keep up with it, girls. They really, really can't, you know? And it's, and it's bad because... <clears throat> and I raise my hand because I'm fucked up, too. I got fucked up, but I'm going to go ahead on and I admit mine. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, you know... Me, let me tell you, honestly. It fucks a woman head up when you cheat on her. And especially when she's giving her whole heart to you... And she's just committed solely to you and you break her heart and you hurt her a particular kind of way. It hurts her to her core. And some women can't deal with it. Some women find that, you know, especially when you've married or, or committed yourself to an adulteress, then therefore you're like, I mean, adulterer. Okay, and then you're 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 like, okay, well, damn, what's wrong with me? Well, maybe I need to fix this. Maybe I need to fix that. Maybe I need to make myself more marketable to whereas a man won't look past me. You know what I'm saying? He'll be really wanting me because now I got everything that these niggas is wanting now. I've been that girl. It, okay, I mean, just 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 pause for a second. I mean, I know we all on funny, but just pause for pause for a second. I'm being honest with you right now. I'm I'm your best nigga. I'm being honest with you right now. It fucked me up. So I begin to hoard and I begin to hold on all this weight and all this other shit. And I'm like, you know what? Hold on one second. Let me start enjoying my motherfucking money. Let me start enjoying my shit. Let me start putting some shit to the side to where it's when my ass get 50. I ain't got to have me no motherfucking roommate. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, you know, in my mid 40s, I'm happy where I'm at right now. But I still got a ways to go. But I'm just coming on this motherfucker just being honest because a lot of motherfuckers it's not going to be. A lot of people want you to believe that they shit is just what the fuck they say it is and I ain't proving shit, bitch. Fuck it. It is what, bitch, I did not meet you nine months ago. Okay, the, what what did you meet nine months ago? So then that's what's happening. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to go all in my motherfucking history books, bitch. This ain't, uh, we ain't doing all that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, judge me on what you got going on, what I got going on, and what we seeing right now. Bitch, get up out of my business. You know? But see, some chicks are transparent like me. Because when you meet me, I want you to meet me, not my representative. You know what I'm saying? I'm bruised and battered, but I'm not broken and a bitch is bad as a motherfucker. So excuse me, let a bitch through. I'm that motherfucker today. You know, but I don't, I can't blame these men for wondering, okay, well, where do we fit in? How do we, how can I date somebody like you? Because, damn, you got so much shit going on, shit, nigga, uh, nigga, uh, I'm, I, I, I don't even know, I, I, I can't fit in, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I can't do nothing. What, can I eat your pussy, man? Shit, fuck it. You know what I'm saying, nigga, let's get back to the basic shit. Now, go, can I just have some books? Man, shit, hey, I promise to God if I eat your pussy one motherfucking time, you'll put a nigga like me in the rotation. Promise you. Huh? See, I get messages from men that come at me on all kind of motherfucking ways because I got 65% of y'all motherfuckers tuning in on a regularly motherfucking basis. You know? And the message that y'all motherfuckers send me, oh my God, Lord have mercy. If I was a different type of motherfucking woman, shit, man, hey, look. I got miracle miles around this motherfucker. Delta, my shit, nigga. I got Delta. I got this, this man. If you don't check my mileage, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Woo! Lord have mercy. Oh, my God. But, brothers, all I can say is this right here. Be your genuine self. Because I understand you can't, keep, you can't compete or keep up with all this bullshit. You can't. You know, so and I understand that, you know, these shows is making it to whereas, you know, if you ain't Rick Ross or one of them motherfuckers, you know, because first of all, these bitches ain't even looking at what them niggas looking like or what they bring to the table, whether or not them niggas is educated. Them niggas be having felonies and all kinds of bullshit going on. I'm not saying that he got that, but I'm just saying that a lot of these niggas that's out here that you, that's on TV and on TMZ and on all this bullshit, like they got so much shit going on, them niggas is crooked like a motherfucker. Them niggas is, is ducking and dodging and hiding and all kinds of shit and looking around corners and shit. And all. Man, there's all kind of shit going on with them motherfuckers. Let me just go ahead and tell you the truth right now. There's so many niggas is on hideout. 
Them niggas got ankle bracelets and shit on and got them pants hanging down over the goddamn, because you can't see that part. It's niggas walking around this motherfucker on parole and all kind of shit. Low-key motherfucking child molesters and all kind of, all kind of making us all motherfuckers and shit. And they moving into these chicks' houses and these chicks is taking care of them and shit. Daddy, come on, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'll be home about 3 o'clock. You know what I mean? Ow. Come eat my pussy, you know what I mean? Oh, or better yet, he gonna pick her up in her ride. You know what I'm saying? About four thirty, it'll be about four or five motherfucking niggas in the parking lot sitting in the car. With they gonna back all the way in and shit. They give everybody the head bump. That that mean nigga, I see you. Oh, that that's her man. That oh man, your girl. Yeah, she she been here about three years, huh? Yeah, mine's just got on, man. She came in through the temp agency, Kimberly. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, we still in this Toyota right now. But, nigga, I see you, nigga. Shit, what? Oh, man. Then he looked to the other side. This other nigga, he sitting over here in the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, cross the 300. He's like, oh, shit, nigga. Oh, okay, I see you, nigga. Shit, hey. You know what I'm saying? They talk to one another. They really do. Them niggas be, they talk to one another. They give each other that head bump like that. They let it know, okay, well, nigga, I see you, nigga. Shit, man. Hey, you got the keys to the pad? Are you there yet? Are you still trying to get on work on getting in? Are you in yet? And then this one over here already got the kids in the back seat, so he already said, nigga, I'm daddy, nigga. I'm Mr. Mom, nigga. I'm doing all this right here, nigga. It's no problem, huh? You know what I'm saying? So, girls, it's a lot going on, and these brothers don't really know where they fitting in at with us. You know, because they like, you know, we giving, y'all giving mixed messages, in which we are. It's like, okay, damn. Basically, we are. That's fucked up. Ain't that a bitch? It just hit me like, we really are. We fucking them up. They don't know what to do. That's why these niggas, all they can do is fuck. Because it's like, well, shit, nigga, you want too many motherfucking things and shit, nigga. I ain't Tyrese and them motherfuckers. I ain't got all that shit. So, say, what, what the fuck can I do for you, Tina? Damn. What can I do for you, shit? You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I ain't got Mr. Malibu uh, money and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, what you want me to do and shit? I can love you, though. Can I just love you a little bit? Can I just love you? Yeah. You know. So, brothers, all I can say is this right here. Be your genuine self. And, you know, when you meet her, though, when you meet her, I believe that you know it. And that's when you're ready to throw your cleats in, you know what I'm saying, and all that kind of shit, and you out the game. I really think that it's really up to y'all, though, really. You know what I'm saying? On when y'all ready, because y'all already know, and shit, we can do this, gonna make you ready. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do that on your own. But y'all let these uh, ladies know, please. Because a lot of women really feel like, you know what I'm saying, they can make you stop doing what you're doing. Sorry for the stupid things. I wish I didn't do what I do. That's some baby face shit. You better look it up. That's a badass motherfucking song. They don't really know that it's like, well, shit, uh, ladies, what, what, I mean, can we really blame them and shit? And then talk down on them and tell them about what another motherfucker got going on. Nigga, fuck you, nigga. It's a nigga that's trying to call me right now, nigga. That motherfucker don't even live at, with his mama and shit. That motherfucker got his own place. He got his own place, own motherfucking ride. Nigga can cook and eat pussy, nigga, please. And got a big-ass dick, nigga. You, nigga, you's on a countdown, nigga. You spiraling out. Yeah. You know, because, see, we have a tendency to talk crazy, too. And that's some bullshit, too. Because we know that y'all ain't gonna hurt our motherfucking asses or hit us. Y'all ain't gonna take that felony chance. You know what? I'm. You know what? That's why I treat this bitch the way that I do. Because this bitch right here, you reckless. You come out your mouth sideways half the motherfucking time, bitch. I really want to slap the fuck out you. You know what I mean? I really want to slap the fuck out you. But see, I don't want to be really bothered with them first 48 ass niggas down there. You know what I'm saying? But see, I let you get away with that bullshit, Yolanda. But you gonna keep fucking with me. You know what I mean? You better take heed to these niggas because these niggas snap in a different type of way. Real shit. They snap in a different type of way. Okay? Um, this is a conversation that we're going to have to continue like the OJ motherfucking uh, sitcom. The words we're going to have to keep on adding to it. You know what I'm saying? Because I done had me a glass of wine and I'm all over, the, all over the motherfucking place right now. But I hope I answered it temporarily for what you was wanting and needing right now. Okay? We will follow this through on another time, baby. I got to go. Deuces. I'm out of here. I love you. I love you for watching, boy. All right. Bye-bye, Mr. Renaissance. You take care. Soon.